Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today we got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. As usual, I don't know what's in here, but I'm guessing it's somebody responding to the mo uh, wanted for review post that I did on my channel here recently. Uh, thank you so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some cool stickers and some other exclusive benefits, there's of course a link down in the description to support me in the world to me. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Let's go ahead and just cut these out right there. Make that quick cut. There's a cut right there. Okay. Peel this open and good. There's a note. Uh, one second here. Let's take a look. All right. Uh, hope you enjoy the blank. Let's, well, well, uh, you guys already have already seen the thumbnail. The Ferrum Forge Stinger. <laughs> Keep up the excellent content. Thanks. And this is from Dirk. Thank you so much, Dirk. Um, this is a different Dirk than you guys have uh, previously heard of on the channel. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I spoke with him and he's an excellent person. So thank you very much, Dirk. Now, um, this is uh, new. This is a brand new thing. Um, I happened to catch a glimpse of it on the on Blade HQ. I'll link this down below, by the way, so you guys can pick this up for yourself. There is something special about this knife that I was interested in. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Nice, nice size. Baron Forge always has appealing designs. Oh, yeah, I like that shadow boxing. Here we go. Ready? Very cool. Very Ferrum Forge esque. Ah, nice job. Once again, Ferrum Forge nailing it on the forward choil area. This is not a big knife. I've seen massive knives that don't get this area right. If you're going to do a, a forward choil, go full send on it. Make it you know, roomy, make it, you know, able to actually be used. And they have done that here. That's awesome. Can you get your finger in that? <laughs> yeah, you can do, uh, you can do the reverse flick with this little slot here. That is awesome. What a fantastic little EC size knife. Now take a look at the steel nitro V. Uh, that's not necessarily like the, yeah, it's, we haven't seen it a lot in the knife world. I don't think it's like came out yesterday steel. But it interested me. Um, this is uh, this is an interesting little EDC knife, and I think the fact that it's using Nitro V is worth taking a look at. I don't think these are very expensive either. I think they're just under a hundred bucks. So there'll be links down in the description where you guys can check this out. I know a lot of people picked it up. I uh, I made mention of this on my Instagram uh, just because I thought, hey, cool, Ferrum Forge design um, looks nice, and they're using a steel that we don't normally see uh, in the knife world. So yeah. I thought this was um, I thought this was really really interesting. Um, yeah, right off the bat, it's the same type of quality that I expect when I um, you know handle a Ferrum Forge knife. It's no different. Uh, it it is very thin. Um, it is absolutely razor thin behind the edge, uh, no doubt about it. Love the pivot. I like the peel ply texture G10. Not super aggressive or anything like that. Of course, they nailed the pocket clip. That's wonderful. A little bit of a bill right there. Not that big of a deal. Nice polished. Uh, on the back side of the pivots, nice and polished. What size are the screws? Uh, these are probably T6, and maybe there's some more screws underneath there holding the backspacer in. Not really sure. Backspacer is it's probably also G10. Um, this is a right-handed liner lock only. Um, action is very snappy, very smooth. Um, and actually, yeah, it's kind of a wiggle shut knife. Um, man, they always, they just, Ferrum Forge designs are easy to pick out of a bunch. You can always tell when it's a Ferrum Forge knife, but they manage to be just different enough between the designs that you feel like you're getting something special every time. Like it's 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 somewhat similar, but then it's also got its own unique thing going on. I'm a big fan of that little slot right there. <laughs> I'm catching my fingernails a bunch, right? But those folders, when they're in exactly the right place, they allow you to do that reverse flick. No hope of a forward flick on this guy. No way, unless you want to shred the tip of your fingers off. Uh, but uh, light switch or push button flip, no problem. That is super, super cool. All right. I think that's as long as this video needs to be. This is interesting. Can't wait to talk about it. Like I said, you can check out this knife down in the description. I'll link it right at the top. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. 
that's going to be about it today. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.